and it, it is beautiful. But we're off to Fitzroy, we're going to see the uh, Welsh Gardens Memorial. Morning guys, welcome to another episode of Dragon Outdoors. Um, it's been a while, but for those who know, um, I'm currently out in the Falkland Islands. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make a couple of couple of different videos on the Falkland Island series. A um, lot of history. But in this episode, we're out uh, wild camping for the night, so we're gonna do two days. I'm with my mate uh, Sam, Ryan Sam, and um, yeah, we're going to do two days. Basically, what we're going to do is a, a big loop of the island, and uh, we're going to stop stop off in different places. Uh, once we get there, I'll let you know where we're stopping off. But we've uh, we've come to a stop short, and I just wanted to speak about this um, because uh, it's quite an early story. Um, so basically, I'll switch the camera around. So if you can see on the video, there's a. Uh, there's a bridge up there that goes across. We're currently in Fitzroy, that goes across to the island. And uh, when the uh, Argentinian army was uh, invading the island, the the bloke that owned that farm there, the buildings, was on a motorbike. Was he going across the bridge, Sam, was yeah, he? Yeah. So he was going across the uh, bridge and uh, an Argentinian plane was, was up in the air and uh, the door gunner opened fire on him, uh, cutting across the bridge. Um, yeah, what happened after that, Sam? Did so I don't think he was hit, but he um, he had a heart attack because of it. Oh, did he? Yeah, and uh, I think he died uh, a few days later. Yeah, so it's a bit of a tragic one, that is. Um, but yeah, that was the bridge. Uh, but what we'll do, we'll... Um, We'll jump in and out and, and give you uh, snippets. Sam had been out there before, um, touring on it on his bike, and he, he knows quite a bit of the history. Um, but yeah, we'll jump in and out and, and give you guys uh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of history everywhere we go. But um, we got a, we got the tent in the back. I don't know where we're going to stay. We're winging it a bit, Sam. I don't know where don't know where we're going to stay yet. Um, but yes, sometimes it's, it's better to wing it. But we're off to Fitzroy. We're going to see the uh, Welsh Guards Memorial. And uh, again, we'll give you a bit of history behind that and take some video of the landscape. And it's, it's beautiful. And to be honest, it couldn't. it's a bit windy as always in the Falklands, on the islands, but um, it couldn't be a better day. Um, nice blue skies, so hopefully we'll have a good end. Guys, as always, stay tuned and I'll, uh, I'll catch you in a bit. So guys, that's us approaching the uh, memorials now. So if uh, that uh, statue over there, that's the Welsh Guards Memorial. There's a memorial over there. We're gonna see what, what don't know what that one is, but we're gonna pop over and see that one as well. Um, but this is, uh, was it again, Sam? Um, Pleasant. Pleasant, Port Pleasant. This is Port Pleasant here, and just beyond there, that land there, that's called uh, Pleasant Island, and uh, this is where the the Galahad uh, got blown up. So the Galahad came into this port here, and it got it was in the water here, and it got hit here. We'll uh, we'll show give you a better look when when we go down. Um, but yeah, that's where um, a good number of uh, Welsh guards got uh, unfortunately killed. 
uh, but when the when the lifeboats come off for those who um, who, who survive the lifeboats actually come into this cove here down on the bottom again you'll see it when we go down but uh yeah we're just gonna go down and have a good look at that now and uh yeah we'll we'll tune back in shortly so guys i think this is uh a paratrooper memorial it's uh it's quite beautiful so you've got steps and a nice little gate but we'll get a bit closer Yeah, Parachute Squadron, Corporal AJ, Elveni. I'll give you a. Yeah. It's a nice memorial. Nice big one, cross. But if I could go like a little orientation, that's where we are. Now, uh, we'll go down to the Welsh Guards one now in a second, but there's a couple more years as well, so I, I'll show you then. Guardsman Gareth Hughes, again died on the Galahad. This is a nice one as well, I think this is the, a medic, yeah, memory of Major R, that being R.A.M.C, that's Corporal Pharrell, R.A.M.C, and uh, Private Dresser, they shall not be forgotten. Guys, what I forgot to mention is that the, the Welsh Guards leak, uh, which they made shortly after Sam was it, shortly after the Galahad, that's the first uh, memorial that they placed, uh, some of the boys helped to make, yeah that's the Welsh Guards leak there. Guys, this is the little box, I do apologise if you can't hear me, the wind, wind is blowing as ever. But um, this is like, there's this some history in there, um, a little notebook, uh, memorial stuff. And normally what people do is uh, sign their names, so it's like a, a piece, there's a piece of history on uh, on ev every individual, which you can go through and read, which we'll have a little look at now. But the memorial is beautiful, it's a big like Celtic cross. Gareth Hughes there, that's one of the, the personnel, but that's all the personnel who uh, unfortunately lost their lives on the Sir Galahad in memory of those Welsh Guards who were killed in action, Falkland Islands, 1982, 1st Battalion Welsh Guards. A lot of people are late, late wreaths uh, for Remembrance Day, uh, including the Welsh Guards. And if I give you another orientation, so this way the Galahad come in on, uh, what's it called, Sam again? Sorry, Port, Port Pleasant. So this is where they come in. I'm not actually sure where they got hit, but they got, got hit roundabout. Up here, and then obviously the lifeboats come off, come into this cove here, and then go off there.
So we're at Fitzroy Farm and these are the sheep pens the owners put the soldiers into who, cut, who got off the, the ship. So they come off the uh, boats, marched down here and this is where they stayed in these sheep pens here. Guys, we're just leaving Fitzroy now. Um, yeah, the cracking time here. It's good to see everything down here, especially like all the Welsh Guard stuff. Um, but we just checked the Miller's house. Uh, Sam have been all, Sam have actually met met them. Um, yeah, but unfortunately they're not in. Uh, I think they might be on holidays or something. But um, they got some cool stuff on the window, some guardsmen, and obviously they f they fly in the Welsh flag up there. So yeah, that's good to see. But it's uh, leaving Fitzroy now, and uh, on to Goose Green, where all the uh, paratroopers, the British paratrooper stuff is. So yeah, that'd be good to see. But the rain is in. Um, it doesn't stay dry for long in the Falkland. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit like Wales, actually. Um, but yeah, it'd be good to see that, and um, I'll check in in a, in a bit. So guys, you just left Fitzroy. We're coming all the way down here then to Mount Pleasant. We've left, just left Mount Pleasant. We're all the way down this road here to uh, Goose Green there. So that's where two para um, that's what two para took. So we're gonna go into Goose Green, hopefully have something to eat in Goose Green and uh yeah have a look about Goose Green. And uh this Bordy Creek Bridge. What was it Sam? Is the most southerly suspension bridge in the world. Yeah, in the world. So that'd be quite good to see and hopefully we'll we'll uh we'll go over it if we can. But uh yeah that's where we're heading. So guys, we're just approaching Darwin. Um, so, yeah, let me try and orientate you. So we're just gonna go into Darwin now for something to eat and a, and a brew. But if I show you, so this is where all the fighting was. Um, well, not all the fighting, but more, most, of, most of the fighting. It was on top of Darwin Hill. Uh, there's a memorial just back there, so I'll take you up there for a look. Uh, we were just going to go into Darwin for, like I said, for some uh, some food, starving out. But uh, yeah, I'll tune back in in a second. Guys, we've come into this um, Darwin house and it, it is beautiful. It's like walking in someone's house, but an house that is really like nice and uh, I don't know, it just feels lovely, nice and cozy. But really welcoming. Uh, they've sat us in the conservatory as well, so look at my view. Sam, look. See what we spotted earlier on as well. A classic. <laughs> look at that for a classic. Bravo de Zero. He lied through the old book, like, but um, yeah, it's a good read. <laughs> read Chris Ryan's instead. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're just going to wait here now. We've already been. Uh, let me flick you. Already been given. Some cake, coffee's en route. Um, what do they call it? like afternoon tea or smoke something? Go. Smoke go. So, smoke go. We're having a bit of smoke go. Lovely jubbly. So, <laughs> I just tried one of these biscuits now, and it's like shortbread, but it's warm. It just come up and
Mm. Absolutely stunning. And there's my view. Crack in. <laughs> Good, mm. really good. Yeah, <laughs> Everything's good in it. So, guys, just finished off my coffee now, and uh, Sam have spotted this. Um, you've got a copy in the house, Sam, haven't you? Yeah, got He's got a copy in the house of this, but it's by um, visit this guy by uh, surgeon Captain Nick Jolly, OB, and he was like the. Um, the main medical officer in Ajax Bay, where all the British troops went, and um, well, it, there's the saying goes: if you if you went in alive, you stayed alive. Uh, he's that good um, of a surgeon, and uh, yeah, he he run a, a tight ship, and um, yeah, it's like a little visitor's guide, but there's there's a lot of stuff in it, a lot of different stuff. There's a there's a map in you which shows like a detailed uh, description of where the uh, where the troops actually got dropped off in San Carlos when where we stay in later where we spend in the night so it actually says there so Port San Carlos three para 42 commando seven battery four troop and blues and royals and then obviously where we are staying then down in San Carlos you had 40 commando, 7 battery, 3 troops and uh, blues and royals again. A lot of different troops. Yeah, so that was the <coughs> the bridgehead. Uh, it'd be good to see that earlier. You've been up there, Sam, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, so it'd be, it could be good for Sam to see it again. But yeah, it'd be a first time for me seeing all that. So yeah, I'm excited. But we're going to finish our coffee now, yeah? And our... Uh, and a very beautiful bit of cacking. <laughs> and then we're going to head to Goose Green. So, aye, stay tuned. Get that for a view. Guys, this is the uh, obviously the uh, two para memorial. You're on top of Darwin Hill, 12th platoon, and uh, again, stunning memorial. There's a uh, the list of the personnel that was unfortunately uh, killed in battle. Yeah, we're right on the hill to give you some uh, orientation, so we're right on the hill. There's go screen down there. Um, so yeah, it's right on top of the hill. And uh, a big cross on the top then. Yeah, beautiful memorial. And this, like I said earlier on, this is where they would have been fighting. That's Darwin House where we just come from. And all this is where they would be fighting. So just off to the road, guys, this is the forty two. Uh, sorry, 24 Commando Royal Engineers. Uh, there's a plaque here as well. So, in memory of Corporal Melia, Recky Troop, Sapper PK Gandhi, Troop Troop, Sapper Jones, Condo Troop. Killed in action during the recapture of the Falkland Islands, April, June 1982. 
from the men of the 59 Independent Commando Squadron Royal Engineers. And there's the dagger there. And now I, I think we've, uh, so Colonel Jones, I think we've uh, spotted his, uh, from two parts, spotted his monument, so we're just going to take a walk down. So I think this path down there, I think it's just down there, so we're just going to try and find it now. It's actually situated where he got, where he fell, where he got shot. So it's a nice monument again. Um, and it says, in memory of Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel H. Jones, VC, OBE, Commanding Officer, 2nd Battalion, the Parachute Regiment, killed in action on this spot. 28th of May 1982 and every, obviously then you've got the paratrooper motto and uh, behind there's like a box so you have a look inside the box see if there's anything to sign I'm going to sign it and open our Sam see if there's anything oh yeah so some brass also we're cleaning up a little bit as well for him and uh is it booking there, sir? No. No, normally in things like this, guys, you get like a little notebook to sign. But it's just a brass or so. We'll brass or the plaque. So it's, uh, it's on the goose green now, troops. So guys, a little bit of history on uh, <coughs> Colonel Jones. So if you look at uh, this re-entrant, it goes all the way down. So what was said was he um, he charged with his with the adjutant, Sam. Yeah, in a different location. Yeah, in a different location, the adjutant. But he charged, um, obviously, brave man, um, up over that brow. And uh, as he was running forward, a gun position behind me, um, somewhere up your Argentinian gun position, um, hit him uh, down there, obviously where his uh, stone is. Um, yeah, so, that, and that's what he had the VC for then, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Victoria Cross, so, very, very brave man. Guys, this is the town hall in Goose Green. So this is where, when the uh, Argenti Argentinians invaded uh, the soldiers, this is where they put all the local people within, all the local British people within Goose Green. They locked them away in there until obviously they were released. Um, it's closed unfortunately, so we can't get in, but yeah, that's the town hall.
That's a good photo, Sam, isn't it? The silhouette. the wetlands there's your old SLR I've never seen one of these well they're quite big innit quite long like and obviously the general best weapon in the British Army still to this day What's this then, Sam? It's the same one, but that's the Argentine version. Oh, is it? That's what they were using. The folding stock. The folding stock, so yeah. That's what the Argentine army was using. Like you said, folding stock on that one. Scots Berry, Scots Guards. That's the Scots Guards officer Berry, is it? I think so, yeah. yeah. That's the old Bergen that they used. It was actually made by, um, so that was a Cyclops rock by Burghouse. Ali bit of kit. Tell him about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sump gun. So guys, we're just getting into San Carlos and that's the actual jetty that, uh, that the troops uh, boarded onto. They say a bit worse for wear now, but that's where they came. So they would have come in through the estuary and then boarded on on the land via that. There's a gun there guys, it's an uh, Argentinian recoilless rifle.
yeah so guys this site is uh it's something special and i was just saying to sam and we were just chatting how how lucky we are to come come and visit these sites right because uh yeah to come and visit history and uh pay our respects we are lucky um to, to get you um this this wall at the back it's uh it's a mark of respect to the to the soldiers that that were buried to see and the ones who haven't got graves here um, but the graves here the headstones uh, these are the soldiers that actually uh, are buried here including the uh, the colonel uh, H Jones VC which I showed you earlier but yeah and see that's what it's looking out onto it's literally right on the beach um, and there, obviously you've got that back wall and then you've got the, the British flag flying right about it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, and like I said, I, I'm quite over, overwhelmed by it all, so I'm, uh, I'll put the camera away um, and I'll, uh, I'll have my time here now. And then, uh, and then we, we so we just asked, asked the locals, the locals were kind enough, who live in the farm just up the top, were kind enough to let us stay um, right on the beach in the tent. So um, I'll turn the camera off now and then uh, the next time you, you'll see us, we'll be, we'll be settled and, uh, and in the tent for the night. But um, yeah, I couldn't think of a better place to wake up to, you know, our next, our next, to, our next to you this site so yeah quite lucky so guys that's the tent set up we're in the Hilleberg uh, Keran so it's a four man so plenty of plenty of room with us to it's the military version um no we didn't bring enough pegs 16 and it's still not enough <laughs> but like i said oh the four four now. you are Find some sheep bone now. yeah stick some sheep bone in <laughs> but like i said about the falklands weather look at this now hailstone so it's like a summer's day five minutes ago and then we got hailstones Look at the size on him as well. Look at that bad boy. Gosh. Well, look at that for a view. That's what we're waking up to tomorrow. Ah, there we are. And it stopped. And the sun will come out again. <laughs> it's a bit like Wales. But yeah, that's the tent set up. We're off back to the, the landing now. Grab our kit and uh, I settle in for the night. Tell what guys, I seen a nice big It was uh flying over down there somewhere. Uh goose. Massive it was. Open a pack of ding dongs in the middle of nowhere and we got an e-buzz. Yeah. Theo, you can't have a ding dong boy. You clean on the blue sleeve, look at your muscles on you. Huh? You can't man. It's spicy for you. They blow your head off. And this one. What's your name, man? Pro. Hello. <laughs> so, guys, the locals were uh, kind enough um, to let us to let us camp in this spot tonight. Um, and they're just out walking their dogs. But look out. A lovely set of dogs. But yeah, you're having a good old sniff, boy. You know, he's been in the drink as well. You know, short, grim, ball for off the cliff.
So that's the noodles in um, in the packet. Like I said, I haven't had them before, but in the packet, you've got volcano chicken noodle sauce. This must this, this must be the uh, yeah the main uh, the main katuna, and you got a bit of, a little bit of flake as well. Love a bit of flake, see. Oh, well, you got some. I got some uh, sweet chili egg noodles, just plain and simple, right? Is it? <laughs> no ass burn at the night, is it? Well, not from these. <laughs> what are they? What what uh, what make is it? Oh, are they the um. Yeah, they don't like them. Uh, eat them now with our view. But uh, we'll see how spicy they are now when I uh, when I dive into them. All right, Sam. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, guys, I tell you what. Um, yeah, like a bath, absolutely boiling. Hot springs. <laughs> that is genuinely the coldest I've ever been. Unreal, I was. Um, anyway, it's good morning. Uh, day two. I didn't film uh, much last night, I, I was shattered. Um, at them noodles, them noodles quite spicy, not as spicy as I thought. I'd give them about on the spice radar about seven, about yeah, just a little bit more spicier than a bad boy, I'd say, pot noodle. But yeah, <clears throat> um, nice though, really nice. Got them down me, uh, read a bit of my book, and uh, I was out like a light. I think I read two pages and my eyes were going, so wrapped that in, got up, made a brew. Had a little bit of a brekkie and obviously straight in the drink. But like I said, day two, we're off now and on our way to uh, tumble down to to climb tumble down. Don't know what the uh, what the weather situation is going to be like, but um, yeah, we're going to get up there nonetheless. And uh, aye, stick with us. Does. 
three pound fifty each. They are, but we'll give we we'll give them twenty for letting us stay as well. So yeah, cracking little coasters. Guys, this is the jetty, what the uh, the soldiers come on to, um, including the Welsh Guards. Oh, it looks rough today. Obviously, I won't walk across because I don't know how safe it is, but yeah, that's it there. And the famous photo of the uh, the famous photo of the Welsh Guardsman on the 50 cal was right on top of that hill there. So they would have come off. There's that building. I don't know if that was there, but the Welsh Guardsman was right on top of there with a the 50 cal as they were coming off onto the jet.
uh, guys, um, the final part of the trip and uh, the best part for me was going up on, on top of Tumble down there. Um, quite emotional really, um, seeing all the stuff up on top, especially that big, big uh, metal cross with the Scots Guards uh, motto on it. Um, and the view as well, like, and uh, it's a tough little mountain, like, you know, I, I can only think, you know, how hard it was for the soldiers to try and, um, to try and recover it, you know, the Scots Guards, and, uh, and yeah, that, well, like I said, it was, it was quite emotional up there, so, yeah, perfect way to finish a trip, guys, I hope you enjoyed, um, me and Sam have had one of the best trips uh, we've had, ever had. Well, I have certainly. Um, it's been great, you know, once in a lifetime opportunity. But part two, part two in the series, we, we've already planned it going, going round. Basically, we're going to cover all the stuff that we couldn't cover, uh, that we missed. Um, so the plan is to go to the, the bridge uh, right down south. The most, what is it, Sam, again? Yeah, the most southerly suspension bridge in the world. So we're going to visit that. We're going to come right around then. And uh, I think uh, so. A friend of mine said, go to the, was it Madeira? A friend of mine said, go to the Madeira. And uh, I think it's called the Madeira. And try the uh, squid, <laughs> the crispy squid, the calamari. So we're going to try that. Go and Stanley, get the calamari, and then um, scale Mount Longdon, where. Uh, the, the mountain three para three pa, three para took um, so yeah very much for that. guys I hope you enjoy the video if you want to see more from me obviously uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel uh, and like I said look forward to the part uh, part two so as they say in Landau ciao for now see you on the next one say goodbye Sam <laughs> Ta -da.